Sometimes life can get in the way. Not enough time, too expensive, or doubt and fear can creep in, especially when it comes to pursuing a higher education. But our next guest says it's never too late to bet on yourself and pursue a college degree. College counselor and professor Mauricio Gonzalez joins us this morning to offer some motivation to just go for it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, so you're working... I'm yeah, you're working yeah. within the uh, California Community College System. Talk about who is eligible to enroll in school. Absolutely. The California Community College System is 116 colleges in California ready to serve you. Um, really, anyone can go, to be honest with you. Uh, if you're over 18 years of age, your academic past does not hinder you. It, we will allow you to enter any one of our 116 colleges and we're waiting for you. With COVID being in place, we're all 100% online now. So if you want an affordable education, please come on over. We're more than ready to help you. Well, that's really good to know because I think some people think, oh, well, I didn't finish my high school education. Maybe I can't go to community college or things aren't gonna transfer. So that is good to know. Talk about benefits of completing general ed classes through a community yeah. college. So there's lots of things you can do at community college. We have different goals, right? One of us, for those of you who are interested in a really fast goal to better your employment, we have what's called certificates of achievement, where you would only focus on the actual training that you need to, uh, to level up, right? To get more skills, to get a promotion. So for people that are into a short-term education, we have those certificates for you. We also have a little bit longer options which is the associate's degree for those of you who want to spend you know a couple years in college and get some kind of degree other than a high school diploma yeah you can come over do various different associate's degrees and then our last and probably our most popular uh, pathway is our transfer path so you're able to go to community college finish about 60 transferable units which include your major and general education and then transfer to a university to finish off the bachelor's degree it's exactly what i did i went to a community college my first half of my bachelor's degree and then i went uh to a university a sonoma state university which is part of the california state university system to finish off my bachelor's degree and you can do that with any university that you can imagine you can go to community college start there get grounded, uh, affordable type education, at easy, accessible, and then move on if that's your choice. Well, that's good to know. Uh, I think a lot of people do opt for that route, but sometimes we need to be reminded that that option is there. Now, finances and education costs can also be an obstacle that stop a lot of people from continuing their education. Do you see a lot of that? Absolutely. And here's the misconception that college is super, super expensive. So I want to be very clear with everyone. The most affordable system of higher education in America is the California Community College system. Oh. Even students who don't qualify for financial aid, even if you had to pay, it's $46 per unit for California residents. And so even if you don't qualify for financial aid, it is very affordable to start taking classes and finishing requirements towards whatever academic goal you wish. We have plenty of counselors to help. We have other support staff to kind of help you figure out. I know sometimes from experience, it may get, be daunting thinking about college, but you know, get on a Zoom call with one of us and we'll be happy to walk you through the whole system of how to figure out which classes to take, how to figure out which aid might be available to you. And I'll be honest, there's plenty of financial aid out there, Promise Grants, Cal Grants, FAFSA, federal grants. Um, I used plenty of financial aid from my own education to really get through the system, and we're there to help. Just please reach out, give us a call. You would first start by applying at cccapply.org. That is the systems application uh, uh, platform mm -hmm. where, you, where you would actually submit an application that maybe takes 20 minutes, and okay. that would get you started. That, that's good to know. Lots of options. It's affordable. It, there's also other financial help, which a lot of people do. You should try to tap into. You never know what you're going to qualify for. Uh, another thing is people may say, well, the community college isn't going to offer courses on what I want to study. Is it limited or is there a big array of, of choices? You know, the funny thing is people think at the community college you go to one school. I want to, I want to, you know, get everyone on the same pathway here is 
we're one entire college. You can go and take classes at any one of our 116 colleges on your way to whatever goal you're going. So for example, if my college that's locally doesn't have the classes I need, there's another college within 20 or 30 miles that's also a community college that will offer the classes that you need. So what many students do is they'll do, they'll do one, two, or three community colleges before they even transfer or finish the degree because they figured out how to get it quicker, faster, and cheaper than everybody else. Oh, hey, who, who wouldn't want that? And what about when it comes to maybe undocumented students and dreamers? Can they attend college? California community colleges? Absolutely, yes, you can. Now, there's a couple of different things on dreamers, right? Dreamers that have that have been in California schools. So say you're say you're an undocumented student and you've been going to school in California. Okay. What we're gonna look for is that you have more than three years of California education, meaning elementary school, middle school, high school. All of that, you got you got the kindergarten, 12th grade. So we were looking for more than three years of attendance in California schools plus high school graduation in California or GED in California. You have those two things as an undocumented student. Mm -hmm. Now you qualify for financial aid at the state level. You qualify for support services at the state level and you qualify for the lowest uh, tuition possible that California oh, residents very good. pay. Very so good. For, for undocumented students, trust me, I have easily I, I i currently work at sacramento mm -hmm. city college i easily have two thousand undocumented students wow. working at, at and studying at this institution and paying actually zero dollars because we qualify them for the grants that they that they would qualify for through what we call assembly bill 540. so please uh undocumented students hear me now uh, padres hear me now your kids can go to school <laughs> so let's nice. get them started at california community college Mauricio, this is great information. I thank you for joining us this morning. I'm going to tell everybody you can get more information by visiting the California Community College's website.